What? Um, hello guys. It has been a hot minute since we have spoken on here. I have been super busy over on my book channel and I apologize for neglecting you guys a little bit, but I absolutely had to hop on here because if there was any time for me to make a comeback, it would be in the same time Mr. Harry Styles is making a comeback. We've got it y'all. Confirmation. Harry's third album, it's coming, it's coming so soon, and I just wanted to hop on here and chat with you guys for a few minutes and really just ramble my thoughts and go over what we know, talk about if it met our expectations, what I think there is to come, all the things. So yeah, let's just get into it. So Harry announced today on Instagram and on YouTube with this fun little video that I will link down below if you haven't seen it yet, that his third album is called Harry's House. And if you guys are psychotic like me and you follow all the update accounts, we kind of have known this the last week. It's really unfortunate. I have a love-hate relationship with being like this in tune to everything going on with Harry because it's like sometimes it's nice for things to be a surprise. You know, the title was basically leaked. Somebody somehow saw on Target's website that you could order a vinyl called Harry's House and we put the pieces together and it was pretty freaking obvious that that was going to be Harry's next album title. I immediately thought it was super cute, but obviously it would have been even cuter if I had just seen it for the first time with his video with the little house in it and the freaking album cover, which he posted on Instagram. I will put it right here. Y'all, I am obsessed with this cover. Like, I love it. I cannot wait to have this vinyl in my hands to display in my room on my little display shelves. Like, I just keep looking at it. It's so cozy. It's so hairy. It's so like artsy. I love his little outfit. My thoughts behind the album and the album name, I don't feel like this is revolutionary. I feel like it's surely called Harry's House because I feel like he must have written like 99% of this album at home, you know, during quarantine, like he was writing a ton, every artist was writing a ton. So if that's the connection and why he called it that, I love that. Also, a lot of people noticed in the YouTube video, he does like a montage, like a flash of a bunch of different images. And they're all things that seem like they would be like comforts to Harry. It's a lot of images of like London and nature and like performing and music. And it just seems like those things are his home, his house. Like that's kind of the vibes that me and a lot of other people got from it. Even though the album cover is super cute, I do just want to point out a lot of people were thinking that this was going to be Harry's sort of rock era. I certainly thought that. The way he's kind of been transitioning his style, fine line we know is very like light and airy and bubblegum pink and baby blue and we loved it. It was a freaking era, it was a moment in time, but I really felt like he was shifting into his like rocker Harry, like 80s classic rock kind of style. I mean with that Grammy performance, the outfit he wore, the leather suit with the boa and like everything lately being like black and green. I really thought that's what he was gonna go for. And a lot of people, I was not clown enough to believe this, but a lot of people were thinking that like Medicine was gonna be on this new album. I don't think he's ever gonna release that song because he hates us. Um, he just likes to perform it live. It's honestly a nice treat just getting to see it live. But I want the freaking recording because that song is seriously one of his best songs to exist. But um, yeah, based off of this picture and based off of the initial vibes I'm getting, I don't think this is going to be a very rocker album. I feel like it's going to be kind of moody and dreamy. I feel like it's going to be very comfy. I kind of am anticipating we're going to get more like HS1 vibes, just the first Harry Styles album he came out with. I kind of think it might lean towards that a little more than it did Fine Line. Fine Line was very like fun and a little more poppy and not quite poppy, like it was still very like rock and unique and hairy, but you know what I'm saying? Like that was very like free spirit, fun, out there, like dance around, have a great time, where I think this is gonna be a little more mellow. Obviously this is just me giving my thoughts. I don't know anything at all. I'm literally assuming all of this from a picture and from a little video clip, but um, that's just what I think. Also, I do want to play something, this girl on Twitter, and I'll put a screenshot here so you can see her Twitter handle. She had the genius idea to play the YouTube video backwards, and it totally appears that he used a song, or at least a melody that's from a song in this video, 
it just sounds too perfect to not be something so i'll just insert that here right now I get copyright claimed uh, about two months from now if this was actually a song but if those are the vibes I'm so here for it this whole thing just feels so weird it's like fine line went on for so long right like it kind of had to in a way because of the pandemic and whatnot and I just have such mixed feelings about fine line I mean in all it's just joy happiness like I loved Fine Line, I loved Love on Tour, like such a great time, but also Fine Line era contained like the worst times of at least my life, just being stuck at home, like I can't help but associate with that. And as much as I loved that era, I loved that era of Harry specifically, I'm so looking forward to something new and kind of like moving on a little bit and just getting to see what he has in store for us next. I don't know, like if there's gonna be 13 songs, by the way, we found that out. Um, which I believe Fine Line also, no, Fine Line had 12. So 13 songs. This is the most songs he's ever put on an album. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like the cover? Do you love the title? Do you feel like it's also going to be kind of like moody and his at home in quarantine thoughts? Or do you think he'll surprise us and be kind of rockery? Like, I don't know. His little outfit in the, in the album cover seems to be very Gucci and whimsical it weirdly like a lot of the pictures and imagery that i'm seeing is at least the one of him on the ball that was like black and white his new profile picture i'll put it right here it was weirdly giving me like folklore vibes like i know it's not that but i can't help but think about that maybe it's just because taylor wrote folklore like in quarantine and that's what i feel like harry did with the harry's house thing i don't know i'm just rambling at this point basically i'm so excited this album is coming out may 20th it's gonna be so weird to have new Harry music. Like we only have 22 songs in, in existence from Harry Styles right now that I've listened to into oblivion, like <laughs> just over and over and over. So the thought that we're gonna have 13 new songs from him is just incredible. And I'm so excited for it. And I'm so excited to see if he does like a one night only situation. Cause you know, I will be on that plane. If that's the case, I have to, I literally miss him so much already. Um, yeah. I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. I hope you guys are pumped. I'd love to hear all your thoughts and I've missed you guys and I've missed Harry. And yeah, that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you hopefully soon.